Hey everybody, I got honeybees this spring and I am so excited about it. I love having a hive in my backyard and I thought that you guys might enjoy seeing a little bit of the process of me getting my hive and prepping for my bees and getting my bees. I've only had uh, my bees in the backyard for about three weeks now, uh, but I just love it. I could just watch them for hours and they're so easy to take care of. About mid-March, I went uh, to the Honey Store and that's a local store in my area that sells everything um, related to bees and honey and they were such a huge wealth of knowledge. The gal that was working there was wonderful. She walked me through every single step and every single tool I was going to need, all of the equipment, what to expect my first couple of years of beekeeping. It really pays off to go somewhere where they really know what they're doing. It's kind of like in the nursery business. You really want to go somewhere where the people that are selling you plants actually garden and actually know, you know how plants are going to do. Honey candies. So somebody just called just right now and wanted to order a bee colony and I just got the last one. So I got all of my equipment except for the bees. Uh, the bees weren't going to be delivered for another month, which was actually perfect because I needed to get a spot ready in my garden, which meant leveling out an area, um, digging up some plants and moving them. And you also need to put a couple cinder blocks so you can raise your um, beehive up a little bit and I had to move some irrigation lines. So I had a little bit of work to do. Toward the end of April, my bees came in and I was able to go pick them up. I ordered a three pound package, which is roughly 10,000 bees. And they come in this little wood box with um, kind of a mesh on the side so you can see them all in there. And they're in this huge, big glob. And I was actually working that day. It was a really busy Saturday down at the garden store. And so I had time just enough to run to the honey store, pick up my bees, and then I actually brought my bees back to work. And it was kind of fun to show them off to customers because you don't see, that's not something you see every day, this big glob of 10,000 bees. So that was fun. So we brought the beehive home and my mom came over to help me get it all set up and put my bees inside because she's been doing this for the past year. Um, so she is my beekeeping mentor. She's gonna show me how to get this all set up um, because no amount of reading can prepare you for actually doing it. So. Of course, I couldn't leave my beehive that natural wood color. I had to paint it. My mom did hers a light yellow, which is really pretty. And I did mine a gray and, of course, had to add a little bit of embellishment because that is what I do. So <laughs> we are going to get started. I've got a few things that I'll show you right here. Um, of course, we get to wear our snappy white beekeeping suits. We're excited about that. And it's really windy out tonight and actually pretty cold, which will be a little bit nice because it'll keep the bees a little bit more tame. They won't be warm and buzzing all over the place. So um, we'll be wearing our gloves. Um, we've got a few tools here which we'll show you as we're doing it, what we use them for. The smoker we're actually not going to have to use tonight, hopefully. <laughs> um, the smoke is what tames them down and keeps them quiet when you need to work in the hive later. And then um, we've got some sugar water. Then I've got some pollen right here, which I'll make a little patty and we'll put it on top of the frame so they'll have something to feed on since it is kind of early in the spring still and there's not a whole lot of flowers blooming out right now. So we're going to go suit up. <laughs> on the GoPro so you guys can have a bird's eye view of what is going on in the beehive. We got all of our equipment out and we made some sugar water so we had something to fill the feeder tray with um, and we made a pollen patty and the pollen patty is just to help the bees out when they're trying to establish in a hive. When you um, inter introduce your bees to the hive so early in the spring, oftentimes there's not a ton blooming in the garden and you really want to encourage your bees to stay nearby so that pollen patty helps and so does the sugar water. So we gathered all the stuff that we needed, including the bees, and we went out to the hive. The first thing I did was take the lid off and then I removed three or four of the frames that were inside so that we had room to put the bees in. Um, and then before we actually took the bees out of the box, I sprayed, uh, just misted, sprayed down the sides of the box so that it got the bees wings wet, which makes them kind of um, fall down into the box into a big clump so they can't fly off everywhere once you remove that feeder can. Um, so we did that and then popped the feeder can out. 
uh, and then slid the queen out, which she's in this little pod uh, inside, right in the middle of that big glob of bees. And I immediately put her in my pocket to keep her warm while we were getting all the other bees out. And there's really nothing scientific to getting those bees out. You just dump them in and you give them a couple sharp taps on the hive and you know, they just come falling out. And there was a few left in the box and I just, uh, with those ones, just set the box on the ground beside the hive and just let them come out on their own time. And they were all out by the next day. The next part was the trickiest part because the queen comes in this little pod that has a little cork on one end and she just paces back and forth in this pod, pod and you have to remove that cork and replace it with a spice drop fast when she's not walking toward the opening because you can't let her out. What happens is you put that spice drop in and then you um, attach her little pod inside the hive and then those bees will work on getting that spice drop eaten up and removed. And in the process of removing that, they get to know the queen and she kind of, kind of establishes as the queen of the hive. So this is where the gloves were a little bit of a pain. When the gloves are so big, I mean an inch too long on my thumb, it's really hard to do anything. I actually thought that I might have smashed her legs for a second and I was a little bit scared. Um, but she was fine and everything's going well, thank goodness. After the queen was secured in the hive, I went ahead and put the all the frames but one back in and I just put those in really slowly so I didn't smash any of the bees, just kind of dropped them in really slowly. And then I left that last frame out because the queen's pod made it a little bit too tight. Um, and then I put the pollen patty on top of the frames and it was just, oh, I don't know, like a quarter inch thick or half inch thick, something like that. So the lid was still able to fit on. Um, and then filled the feeder tray up with the sugar water and it was pretty much, we were good to go. So I just put the lid back on and that was it. And you know, they flew around just a little bit. It was, um, kind of dusk when we put them in, which was a perfect time and it was cool that night, so they weren't moving too fast. About three days later, I got back in the hive just to make sure that the queen had been released from her pod and I and she was, she was out somewhere. I didn't see her, um, but everything seemed to be, it looked right. I don't know anything really about bees I'm learning as I go here, but everything looked great. So I took her pod out and then replaced that last frame in and checked the sugar water, make sure that that was still full and then put the lid back on and I left it alone for a little over a week after then. I've been in it, I think total maybe twice since we initially installed the bees just to make sure everything was okay. And it's great. And you know, I was a little bit nervous about putting a beehive in our backyard because if you've watched any of our, our other videos, you know that we live on a fifth of an acre it's a really, really tiny yard, and I was a little bit worried about having 10,000 bees. It's a lot of bees in this small of a space, but I don't even notice it. I don't even notice that they're back here. I, I see honeybees around, which is what I want, but they're never in mass anywhere. So it's really kind of a peaceful activity. I actually like the process of it. I love to put on all the proper gear and just go out there. It's such a quiet, um, peaceful thing, and the bees seem to be really nice. So the second time I was in it after we initially installed the bees, I actually didn't suit up at all. I just lifted the lid, checked them out, and I had my gloves on and that's it. And they just kind of buzz around a little bit, but they're all fine and nice. I have nice bees. So if you're thinking about getting bees, I would highly recommend it. It has been such a fun thing so far and not a lot of work at all. It is a little bit spendy to get started. I, for everything that I bought, my hive, my suit, all my equipment, um, and the bees, it was just under $600. There's probably a cheaper way to go about doing that, um, but I wanted to um, visit a place where they knew what they were talking about, they had all the right stuff. Um, I would rather pay for that and pay for their knowledge than um, try to cobble it together on my own. And I am no expert whatsoever. I'm hoping to learn a ton this year, my first year of beekeeping. If you are already doing this and you have um, some helpful advice or tips, I would love, love to hear from you. Anyway, that is it, and we are excited to be able to update you as the season progresses. So we'll see you in the next one. Bye. What's your favorite thing about the beehive so far? I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of doing something good. Like I'm doing something good for the environment. I'm providing a really nice home for these bees, I think. I'm providing them with lots of yummy flowers. Um, I mean, yeah, and uh, I think it's going to help out with my fruit production too, so I don't know.
there's lots of good things about it. Say one of your bees dies, would you hold a memorial service? No, <laughs> no. I read that in season, a worker bee lives, I think like six weeks because they literally work themselves to death. Boom, that's who I want working in my garden. Do you think your bees recognize you? I read, see all this, <laughs> I've read lots of things. I've read that bees can recognize faces. So I try to be extra pleasant when I go out there. No being grumpy around my beehive. Nope. Have you thought about getting more hives? Have I thought about getting more hives? Yes. I think that my yard can accommodate at least a couple more. Does that make you nervous? Cha-ching, cha-ching. <laughs> Is it true that bees die after they sing you? I think so. I don't know. Kind of learned that growing up. Is it true? I don't know. I've heard that there are some benefits of bee stings, though. I've read it. <laughs> I don't remember what the benefits were. But you read it? I read it somewhere. Maybe.